Hi, my name's Tracy. Throughout my career, I've done a number of different jobs in quite a few different industries. And my favourite part of my career was when I worked in travel and tourism and when we started our own company. I started off working in tourism in London because uh, I was on a working holiday there and uh, I'd been working too long and doing accounting which is what I really did and then I decided I wanted to do something really exciting so I started working for a company called Top Deck Travel in London uh, and all around Europe and uh, enjoyed that working with people and that sort of thing but I'd always wanted to run my own business so I went out to South Africa on a backpacking holiday and South Africa at that point had just come out of the apartheid era so tourism was just starting to open up but all the travel at that point was really high end so it was uh, expensive hotels and all that sort of thing. There wasn't really anything offered to backpackers in the budget sector at that time there was really only one tour offer. When we first started out, one of the biggest challenges was that nobody thought people wanted to come to Africa for a short time. We were offering four day, 10 day, 14 days was our longest trip when we first started. Nobody thought that anybody would come to Africa for that length of time and they said you're mad, I don't know what you're doing. Um, but there was clearly a, a market that I could see for that because nobody was doing it and not everybody had months and months and months to come to Africa and we just wanted them to come, enjoy what they could do and then move on. Started off really small, just doing day trips actually out of uh, Johannesburg and Durban and uh, just taking people to Sun City and Pilansburg National Park and then we started to go and do some longer trips and, and that sort of thing so then it built up to maybe carrying 100, 150 people every week on tours. Eventually, in the end, after 10 years, I wasn't quite as enthusiastic about uh, doing everything as I, as I had been at the start. At that time, we sold the business to another uh, person, another company who operated in that space. Some of our tours still exist today. They have got some of my itineraries that are still in there, a 14 day trip that did Kruger Park, Okavongo Delta, Victoria Falls and it's still essentially exactly the same trip that, that we designed all those years ago so um, it's, quite, it's quite interesting to see that the, the good quality stuff has lasted through. It was a really exciting way of life at that point. I was in my uh, mid-twenties and early thirties and so it was a really fun thing to be doing as well as running a business. A lot of what I did was actually in the office rather than out doing the tours which was a bit sad uh, but I always enjoyed uh, when you got to go out and meet people that it was and, and and trying to find new places to take people and exciting things that people can do. Going different places, figuring out how to put these trips together for people um, so that they could have a real experience of Africa, not feel as though they were just sitting on a bus looking at it go past, that they could actually get involved and get some unique experiences out of it, which was really fun. I've got a suitcase of photos and mementos of time, my time in Africa and various souvenirs and things like that that'll be really good looking at. Oh, there's brochures, photographs. Wow, there's all sorts of stuff. Oh, business cards, we were so proud of getting our business cards made. When you start your own business and you, um, oh look, I was marketing manager. When you start your own business, you have these things to decide of like, what's your logo going to look like? And in those days, it wasn't easy to just go onto some program and draw your logo. So you had to like hand draw it and then get someone to do it up for you. And it was very, very complicated. Oh, it's my passport. 
one thing about Africa, they really like stamping everything. So you always felt like a really experienced world traveler because um, you got all these stamps. The passport I used all the time even had concertina pages coming out of it. One trip we did up to Vic Falls, you used to use a whole two pages of your passport just in seven days. So you ended up with so many stamps and virtually no room anymore to put anything in. And so New Zealand passports were the only one where they actually put this extension in. Otherwise you ran out of, um, you ran out of passports. Oh look. There's our combi that we first started with, our very first, that's the actual first combi that we started with. <laughs> it's quite fun going through old photos. I haven't been through these since I got them back from South Africa, so it's quite interesting to see. This was typical when we first started, we didn't have the white vans with the trailers, we just had this blue combi. And, you know, that was a typical lunch stop, so you'd, you'd stop by the side of the road and just, um, just have lunch wherever you could. Lots of fun ones in Victoria Falls and we operated out of a backpackers and so we used to have lots of parties in the backpackers. <laughs> I'm not sure what sort of party we were having here. Look. <laughs> He's got a beer box on his head. It's interesting when you look at all the stuff that you do and how many people that you still have a connect, you know, this is all, gosh, when was this, you know, mid-90s? And so, I, you know, more than 25 years ago, and yet you still have a connection to all these people. I can't believe that I was only 25 when we started Wagon Trails, so that was half my life ago now, and it's amazing how much we could achieve. It was really cool, so thank you for letting me look back over that time.